Hey guys, Gary Dean, detailjuice.com, Infinity Custom Works, Foxy Drop Outdoors, all of the things. So as you can see behind me, I'm at, actually at the shop today working on one of the Foxy Drop campers. And I had to also trim up some panels that I had pre previously uh, laminated for a brand new situation coming to detailjuice.com and then it'll also be dual purpose. Um, there's one version going to detailjuice.com. There'll be another version uh, that's quite different, but also the same at foxydropoutdoors.com once we get that site launched. Behind me, you will see the very early stages of what I'm calling the juice box. This is a super cool box that you can mount on top of any roof rack. It will be light enough for pretty much any car. Most car roof rack cross bars have a rating of about 165 pounds. So after 10 gallons of water go in here, after all of your detailing gear goes in here, you won't need your trunk space for anything other than, well, the big stuff. Because this will house everything you need. Let me show it to you and let's talk about it. All right, so this is uh, foam laminated with fiberglass. And I literally only have it sitting there together with the masking tape that you see. Um, it will be getting some really nice hatches. These are not it. These are too small. The, uh, the hatches that'll be on this will likely be 24 wide by 14 tall. Um, currently this box and the production model will be six foot long, four foot wide, as you can see here. And then um, it will be, let's see, it will be sixteen and a quarter tall. Um, it will be, it will have lockable hatches. So it's going to have basically in the center here of the box is where the tank's gonna be. It will have baffles in it, so when the car rocks, the water isn't going to slosh around and move the car. So it'll have a water tank in the center. It will have a 12 volt pump that will pump that water, uh, whether you'd like to use it for um, uh, off-road camping shower system, which is really what I designed it for initially. Uh, then I thought, man, how can I better serve my, serve my detailing community? And I was thinking this thing would be amazing to use for detailing. So if you see what I've got underneath it, this is my five foot long by four foot wide Lowe's nothing fancy trailer that I recently picked up for a good deal. Um, I'm actually gonna weld together some, uh, basically a, a rack for this with some crossbars and I'm gonna mount that to the crossbars of this trailer. So on the bottom, I'll have my pressure washer, my generator, um, an air compressor, all my big stuff will go in the bottom and everything I need and, and you know, with the mesh on the trailers or with any other kind of D rings or whatever, you can lock your equipment down. So that's not a huge deal, but all the small parts that could be easily grabbed and taken, uh, will go inside the box there. Um, I can absolutely make it in different sizes. I feel like the four by six is going to be a very popular size, mainly because once I, do the math and figure out the width of what the water tank has to be for 10 gallons, which won't be much, especially because it's going to be right in the center uh, to balance it out really, really well. Um, I can't imagine 10 gallons will be more than maybe six inches wide. So you're going to have really nice cubbies to put stuff and to feel confident that 
your equipment is taken care of, safe, and all of that once you lock it. So you're at four wide, so here's 24, so that's directly in the middle, so let's take three inches off of that, so 21. So you're gonna have basically a 21 inch deep compartment and you'll have lockable hatches. This is not a, a locking one yet, I have to modify it, but um, probably want these to fold down. You could, we could definitely do them where they fold up. Um, but you're gonna have, your hatches are gonna be here. Uh, if I decide to configure it using these smaller hatches, which you can see, my problem is, um, I prefer these Zep bottles. These things are awesome. You get them at Home Depot. The problem with these is that if you just look, it's not going to fit in that compartment. So it has to be a bigger compartment. Um, you absolutely would be able to turn them sideways and put them in, but I kind of just wanted a bigger opening for that. So that's what I'm thinking. Uh, the shower and or situation for the back. Um, it will have a drain plug in the bottom here and you'll be able to access all of that from the rear of the car. Uh, if you've got a hatch that comes up, um, it is possible we'd have to go with a shorter unit, but envision this guys. And I have done lots of testing already. The miles per gallon definitely decreases, but it is minimal with a flat um, end facing, you know, like if you're driving this way and that wind is pushing on the flat end of it, you definitely have, you would, you would be hard pressed to see the difference having this with a round front or a blunt front like this, um, you, you'd be hard pressed to see the fuel economy difference. So for example, most people build their um, teardrops and whatever with, well, their, their square drops generally start here and they cut off this whole corner, which would kill my shelf in there. So I, I wanna do keep all of the, I mean, we're already looking at an itty bitty little box. So I want all of the square inches, square feet that I can get. So I left the, the back flat. Um, I do not, actually I know for a fact because I've done all the testing already. You don't get any better fuel economy having a round front here. I don't care what anybody says. And if you look on paper, that works. In the real world, it is not like it is on paper. So anyway, I still got to glass everything in. I've still got to do a whole bunch of uh, I got to put the dividers on the interior with the different compartments and all of that. Still got a lot to do. I just wanted to show you guys what's coming. Um, if you're one of those guys that just has to have some kind of aerodynamic front end, I can absolutely, without a doubt, make that happen. So if you want that, I'll do it. I'm telling you it doesn't matter, and I will absolutely charge you more to have to manipulate this front piece. That would give you a little bit more interior room, though, in these front compartments, if you should need it. <coughs> anyway, that's it. The juice box coming to detailjuice.com very soon. Um, I am going to talk to my buddy Dave. He's my UPS driver. I'm going to talk to him and see what the best option is for shipping these things. I will absolutely be able to do it. Um, each one of these boxes, my figure right now, based on having laminated every panel that you see on both sides at this point, uh, my figure is this box should take me about five gallons of epoxy. It is possible it will take six. Um, and then you've got your foam, you've got your fiberglass mat, um, again, you've got your epoxy, your hardener, um, you've got gloves and tape and mixers and cups. And I mean, it's, it's a lot of parts, a lot of working parts with this situation, but it is coming together nicely. Uh, as you can see, I probably, if I could work on this thing for five straight days from nine to five, I could have this thing done.
Problem is, I only get a couple hours a day. I can come over here to the shop and mess with this thing. Um, I'm actually getting more paint jobs and uh, that kind of thing, which I will show you on my uh, YouTube channel uh, what's going on. I just put in a couple shelves. Uh, this bottom one is still drying. Uh, I will put the same shelves over there once that all dries and stuff. But anyway, we're talking about the juice box and that's where we're at. So say hello to my little friend. Hopefully he can be your friend too. And if you don't want it this big, I can make it smaller. But imagine the function. Uh, and just think about this, 165 pounds on your roof. And that's for like the least amount of what a crossbar would, that's, that's one of the minimum numbers. So that's what I'm trying to operate off. Um, if you think about it, five gallons of epoxy is roughly 50 pounds. Then you've got your foam and your mat. So we're looking at, I don't know, maybe 60 pounds of foam, epoxy, and mat. 60 pounds-ish. Um, and then we're looking at uh, water weighs, I think, 8.39 pounds per gallon. And so if we put 10 gallons in there, you're looking at basically 84 pounds, okay? So you take 60, you add 80 all up on it, you got 140, um, and then you add that four, you're at like 145 pounds. Um, and that's for this box. Like I said, I can build it however you want it specced out. Um, I will absolutely have a couple of different size options and pricing on the website. Um, but this is, this is the easiest way to carry your goods and have it all locked up and be happy about it and all the things. Um, I want to try to leave the rear accessible as a sign. So if you wanna put your business information on there, I want you to be able to do that. I also only wanna do two compartments so that you could do a little sign on each side. Um, and then maybe something where you could put a sign in reverse like ambulance does on the front of this thing. I don't know, just thinking out loud. Lots of options. So anyway, uh, this is the prototype. I will have it functional in, I don't know, probably a couple weeks, but it's getting mounted on top of this trailer. Uh, and then I will build a m much bigger one that's gonna go on top of the camper uh, after this. So if you guys are interested in something like this, let me know, 813-846-4406. Let me know if you've got any questions or let me know if you're interested in a juice box. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to me babble. I know I babble a lot. We're already 14 minutes in. I'm saying goodbye for the day. Merry Christmas, guys. I'm going to post this video before Christmas, but you're going to get a whole lot more videos basically just blowing up the internet right after Christmas. Um, thanks for watching. Ask me these questions. Put the comments in the comment section below. Send me a text. If you're interested or if you've got ideas or uh, if you want one and you want a special build or you just generally have questions, let me know. 813-846-4406. It is best to send me a text message. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful day and Merry Christmas.